What's up guys? We are starting a new vlog series. We're gonna try and get these done every week so that we can cover everything we do in the adult Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class. We're gonna show all the moves of the week. We're gonna show you the word of the week that we do in the kids martial arts program so that we can all benefit from different character development things that we cover. We're gonna also show you around the academy, show you around town, just have a good time with it. This week happens to be week 14, so we are covering transitions between moves in the Jiu Jitsu class. We are also covering three different armbar escapes um, in the kids, program the word of the week is self-awareness which i think we can all benefit from so hopefully you guys find value in this have a good time um follow us subscribe and enjoy okay let's get started weather is crazy right now so it looks like it's snowing, it was hailing just a few minutes ago, um, but it's so bright and sunny right there. Pretty crazy. And now here it comes again. <laughs> Oh, it's Thursday. No gi day. There we go. All right, so this week, guys, we're going to be doing, uh, it's actually week 14. Uh, so we're going to be doing transitions from half guard to full guard to butterfly guard. Um, and then we're going to be doing three different escapes from armbar. So when I'm stuck in the armbar, he, he's going to attack me and I'm going to get out of that armbar. So, first thing we want to do is the transitions. So, I have, he has me or I have him, however you would say it, in half guard. Now, whether he's doing a pretty good job of like passing, he's like doing a knee slice pass, right? And he's gonna pass and I'm like, oh no, I need to like push and try and recover full guard. Or, if in the case where he's smashing me and I feel a pass is inevitable, I'm gonna start fighting and just go back to full guard. Now, from full guard, he starts to center up on me and push away, right? I never want that to happen to where he decides when I open up. So when he does that and he starts to center, I'm gonna scoot my butt over a little bit, okay? And then I decide when I open up. I push away, I sit up, and I can go to butterfly guard from here. Now, same thing happens. If he's able, the pass is pretty inevitable and he starts pushing or passing or stressing me about passing, right? I'm gonna do the same thing and go to half guard, okay? And now I can fight to half guard, and then we're gonna cycle through those, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is the three arm bar escapes. So, he has me in an arm bar, okay? So, first one is, I have the best possible chance, and I recognize that the arm bar is happening, okay? He steps over my head, I'm gonna grab as close to his heel as I can get, and keep it off of my head, okay? But, it still could happen, he's pretty strong here. So I wanna point his foot, towards my feet, okay? Now it's not as strong. Then I can take this hand and hide it behind the leg here, okay? As soon as I get to this point, I can either push with my foot or grab it to my legs and try and sit up and fight down. All right, that's the first one. The second one, I miss that recognition and it gets it all the way over the top of me, okay? So in this case, I wanna grab my own bicep with the arm that he's attacking, grab that one. And then this one that's free, I sneak it behind his knee here. So now I'm gonna put some pressure on his leg, some pressure on my own arm, and then I'm gonna back away. So I'm gonna kind of scoot away so I can clear the elbow that he's attacking. So I'm inside here, I'm putting some pressure, and I'm gonna start shimmying until I get my elbow free. And now I can fight to get up, okay? In this case, I need to be careful not to just kind of sit up and end up in a triangle, okay? So I still need to keep the fight going, all right? Now the last case scenario is even worse, he steps over and he's super tight and I can't reach my own arm and he's about to take it, okay? So in this case, this is like the best grip I have, I don't have anything left. So he's about to take it. So when this happens and he goes to like pull this, I need to make sure he's fully committed. When he does, I don't wanna give it to him with my pinky down, cause then I'm done, okay? So I'm, as soon as I feel that break, I wanna give it to him with my thumb down, okay? And as soon as that happens, I'm gonna start walking away and rolling. So I go, he pulls hard, thumb down, and then roll away. Now from this point, I wanna come out on this side of him, okay? 
So it really happens to be over here. Okay? I need to keep my head down. Again, I don't want to get up and get trying. So I'm going to keep my head down and slide under this leg until I'm all up to the side. And now I'm just going to be pretty safe. Okay? Plus, guys, keep training. Plus. Every week we talk to kids about a word of the week, uh, character development stuff. Um, this week happens to be self-awareness. Now, I think that that's an important word for all of us, um, not just children, uh, adults as well. We sometimes forget to reflect and look at ourselves. Um, Self-awareness is, I think, a foundation for personal growth, uh, success, satisfaction in your daily life. Um, we have to know what our strengths and our weaknesses are so that we can know what we want and even as importantly, what we don't want to pay for. The Japanese actually have, have a thing um, they call ikigai, I guess I'm butchering that. But so you have you know, what you're good at, what you love, what you can get paid for, and what the world needs. So if you're able to merge those things here. So those things now for my, for my own self, I knew that I loved martial arts. Um, I had some success in it. So I knew that was something that I was good at. Uh, now I am a firm believer in studying your weaknesses um, so that you can get better. But at the same time, becoming the absolute best, the best you can possibly be in your strengths. So for me personally, I started studying communication, uh, teaching to be a better teacher, um, and something that I knew I didn't know anything about was business. So I started reading as much as I could, watching videos, uh, reading tons of books, podcasts, everything I could on business and martial arts business in particular. Um, another important thing to me is having friends and family that are honest that will tell you the truth, will tell you, you know, hey, you could be better at this. And sometimes for us personally, you know, it can sting when somebody's like, hey, you're not very good at this and we think we are. Um, but it helps improve our self-awareness. So, so I really believe in surrounding myself with people that are honest. Be authentic so that we can be an inspiration to others. Um, at the same time, we need to ask for help when we, when we need it. So I'm a a uh, big fan of finding a mentor, you know, somebody who's already been down that path, somebody who's done it before, so that we can focus, prioritize, and use our time more wisely. Um, you know, there comes a time when money is not everything. Time becomes uh, much more valuable than money. Mm -hmm.